So for this video, Stacy is going to be going over her TBR for Battle of the Bands 4 movie soundtracks. And we will also be giving recommendations for all of the prompts. Yes. And yeah, that basically sums it up. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first off, we just want to say there's still time to sign up for the Readathon if you haven't done so already. And to do so, you're going to need to join Jake's Discord down below and also fill out the Google Doc or the Google Form sign up sheet. Yes. And like I said, she's going to be going over her TBR. Uh, for me, I don't really have, I kind of have like a loose TBR, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm reading or for what prompt. So we're going to be also giving out just random recommendations for all the prompts. So prompt number one under team action is danger zone. And this is to read a book that includes flight. So this could be like spaceships, dragons, planes, whatever, as long as it includes flight. And for this, I am going to be checking out Falling by TJ Newman. And this is a thriller that takes place on a plane that I've been meaning to get to for some time. So I'm excited about it. And some other recommendations, you could do some short fantasy books that have dragons, such as Chamberer, uh, or Anne McCaffrey books or Harry Potter or you could kind of go more the sci-fi horror route you could read The Langoliers which is a novella by Stephen King or you could read Night Flyers a novella by George R. R. Martin. So prompt two is Mission Impossible and this is to read a book in a long or ongoing series and for this we said five or more books and I'm going to be reading Virgins which is an Outlander novella it's a prequel and this is a nine book series going on 10. Plus I think there are also like some additional stuff like short story bind up or whatever. So some other series you could read are Narnia. All of those books are super short. Fred the Vampire Accountant. All those are short. Agatha Christie you could do. And also The Dresden Files. So for prompt three, it's You're the Best. And this is to read a book with a high average Goodreads rating or by a highly regarded author. And for this, I'm going to be slotting in one of our read-along books, and that's going to be Age of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. And some other notable authors you could, of course, read are Stephen King, Taylor Jenkins Reid, and Adrian Tchaikovsky. Prompt four is Eye of the Tiger, and that's to read a book featuring either an underdog or a character facing a seemingly insurmountable situation. And for this, I'm going to be reading The Secret Sheriff of Sixth Grade by Jordan Sonnenblick. And you've told me that this works for the prompt. It does. And I have enjoyed every Sonnenblick I have read so far. So continuing the journey. Some other books you could count for this are Andy Weir books, such as Project Hail Mary or The Martian. And then Stacy says that Iron Widow can definitely. count. And then... Last but certainly not least, you definitely have the gunslinger on his long and arduous journey to the Dark Tower. So prompt five is Princess of the Universe. There can only be one. Read a standalone. And for this, I'm going to be reading Curveball by Jordan Sonnenblick. Another Sonnenblick book. Yes, I actually have another one coming up too. And some more notable standalones you could read are one of Stacy's favorite thrillers, The Passengers by John Mars. And then one of my favorite horror books, Tender is the Flesh. And then one of my favorite fantasy standalones, Paranessi. So the first prompt for Team Animated is number six, You've Got a Friend in Me. And that is to read one of the Discord group read books or buddy read books that we have a channel for on the Discord in the month of July. And there are several to choose from. I am going to be reading Middle of the Night by Riley Sager for this one, and it's highly anticipated because he is one of my favorite thriller authors. You could also do Fahrenheit 451, which we're reading in July for the Ray Bradbury Book Club. We've also got Age of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan for Legends of the First Empire read-along. We've got Harry Potter number five, Order of the Phoenix for the Harry Potter read-along. Me and Ian are doing a buddy read if y'all want to join us for Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. There's also a Patreon pick, which I'm not sure what it is at the time of filming, but I always have a channel open for that if you want to do that. Pat and I are going to be hosting a read-along of In Order to Live by Yami Park, and it's a non-fiction story about a girl who escapes North Korea. Prompt number seven is Hakuna Matata, and this is to read a book featuring a laid-back character. 
And for this, I'm actually going to be rereading one of my favorites as a preteen, The Outsiders by S. E. Hinton. And if I can remember correctly, Soda Pop, the middle brother, is pretty laid back. And in a book that Stacy claims can fit for this is Radiance. Yes, this is true. And a couple others. Uh, one that we've both read, uh, The Maid by... The Crows. Yep, definitely laid back character. And then The Last Wish, um, not Geralt necessarily, but Dandelion, kind of a laid back, loosey-goosey character. He's in all of the Witcher books? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. So prompt eight is You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Christmas in July, read a book set over Christmas time or over the holidays. And for this, I'm going to be reading Fool Me Twice at Christmas. And it is a short romance novel by Camilla Eiley Isley. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I'm sure I'll find out when I do the audiobook. So I already know which book that I'm doing. It's a Christmas story, which is kind of like the novella that the movie famously A Christmas Story is based off of. It's like three and a half hours, so I'm going to do that. But you could also go with Krampus by Brahm, which is a very fun Christmas horror book. Uh, you've got a romance that I don't think you've read yet. No, um, I haven't. But there are a lot of Christmas romances out there. There's holidays, there's holiday romance, Merry Little Meet Cute, just to name a few that I can think of off the top of my head. And then just kind of uh, an aside here of like books that maybe aren't set all during Christmas, but maybe have like a chapter or two during Christmas. To Kill a Mockingbird has a chapter that takes place during Christmas, so technically you could count that. So prompt nine is All Star, and that's to read a book that's won some kind of award. And I think I'm gonna be tackling Happy Place by Emily Henry, and this won a Goodreads Choice Award in 2023, I think. And some other books you could read are John Scalzi books. He's won a ton of Hugo and Nebula awards, and he has a lot of short sci-fi books. But you could also read Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This won the Goodreads book maybe book of the year or some kind of award. And then you could also go with The Sword of Kaigen, which won the Spiffbo book of the year. So next up we have Prom 10, which is Sunflower, and that's to read a book with a plant on the cover. And for this, I'm gonna be reading The Dangers of Smoking in Bed by Mariana Enrique. And if you look really closely, there are some flowers sprouting out of this person. Boom. And then you could also read Then She Was Gone, which is my favorite Lisa Jewell book. You could do Wonderland by Zoe Stage, one of my favorites by her. And then you could also do Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. Yes, and just to clarify, we did specify that trees can count as plants. So the first prompt for team comedy is 11, Ghostbusters, and that's to read a book with either suspected or confirmed paranormal activity. And for this, I'm gonna be reading A Court of Honey and Ash, um, and I have the audiobook for this, so I'm excited. Some other books you could do are Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. You could also do Fever Dream by George R. R. Martin, which is his vampire novel, and you could also do Ungodly by Brayden Riddick, one of my favorite self-help horror books. Prompt 12 is Canned Heat, and that's to read a last minute addition to your TBR. And I am actually not planning a book for this. I'm going to see if I have any library holds roll in or just throw in a mood read. It's self-explanatory. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Prompt 13 is The Power of Love, and that's to read a book featuring unlikely friends. And I'm using this prompt as an opportunity to stick in another read-along book. And I'm going to go with Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. And some other options would be Central Park by, how do you say that? Guillaume Musso. Guillaume Musso. Guillaume? I'll, I'll just let you Musso. say it. Okay. <laughs> Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby definitely fits. And then a book that Stacy really enjoyed, The Hammer by K.J. Parker. Prompt 14 is Always Look on the Bright Side of Life, and that's to read a book with a funny or ironic title. And for this, this is where I'm slotting in my third son, I'm like, I'm gonna go for Falling Over Sideways. More son and Blick. And then some other options would be Blackstone Heart, kind of an ironic, ti ironic title. We also have I Am Not a Serial Killer, very funny and classic title. And then would it be a bookish drummer video if I didn't recommend Drums, Girls, and Dangerous Pie? I don't think it would. One of the best titles <laughs> ever. So prompt 15 
is Scotty Doesn't Know and that's to read a book that involves deception of any kind and I am going to be rereading the Hunger Games trilogy this month. It's uh, one of the first series I read that I binged and I credit it partly for getting me back into reading. But anyway, I'm going to be slotting Mockingjay in here. And some other books are Agatha Christie, which could either be from the characters or Agatha Christie herself throwing in some red herrings. Also, You by Carolina Kepnes would definitely fit. And then A History of What Comes Next by Sylvain Deville would also definitely fit. So the first prompt for teen dance, prompt 16, is You're the One That I Want, and it's to read a book that has a special edition that you want. And for this, I'm going to be slotting in Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood, and this is just the regular edition, but there is a beautiful afterlight edition that's purple, which is my favorite color, um, and I'm sure we can put pictures of it here so you can see. And then for recommendations, there's a few that I think are beautiful special editions that Jake was like, yeah, you're talking about this because I don't want any part of Red Rising. There are beautiful editions where the spines make like a scythe thing for their weapons. And another one of both of our favorites that has a beautiful Illumicrate edition is the Pop War trilogy. So prompt 17 is I've had the time of my life and that's to reread an old favorite. And as I already stated, one of my favorites that got me back into reading was Hunger Games. So I'm gonna be slotting Catching Fire here. And no recommendations because this is self-explanatory. You figure it out. Yeah, you know what your old favorites are. Prompt 18 is Footloose. That's to read a book that's been banned and Hunger Games has been challenged and banned. So this is where I'm slotting the first book in the series. And for this prompt, obviously, I, I might go with Fahrenheit 451, but we're also going to provide a list of books that have been banned in the past or that are currently being banned now. So uh, definitely check those out if you want any more ideas. Yeah, they'll be in the Discord. I think it's a pretty easy thing to Google too. So prompt 19 is Staying Alive, and that's to read a book by an author with either a B or G initial, or you could do both if you have a B and G. You don't have to just do one or the other. But anyway, I'm going to be reading Dungeons and Drama by Christy Boyce. And this was gifted to me for my birthday. So I'm excited to get into it. And some other options. You could do Richard Bachman, aka Stephen King, but Bachman for B. You could do Stephen Graham Jones, G, Graham. And then you could do Austina Batrika. You could do... Uh, her short story collection, which I thought was pretty good. 19, Claws, and A Blackbird. And the last prompt, prompt 20, is A Million Dreams, and that's to read a book with an inspirational character or an inspirational story. And for this, I'm going to be reading In Order to Live by Yamini Park, and this is about a young lady who defects from North Korea. And you could also throw in maybe some Taylor Jenkins Reid. She has a couple that could fit, but also you know, Carrie Soto is back. could definitely fit. And recently, you've read a few nonfiction books that this could count for. Yeah, I recently read I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy and The Woman in Me by Britney Spears, and I really enjoyed both. And I would say both have aspects to them that are inspirational because they go through some stuff and they got to come out the other side of it and figure out how to live with it and deal with it. So, And then I have signed up to potentially be an encore reader if I'm needed, so I have planned five extra books. Um, but I'll just pop the graphic of it, or we'll pop the graphic of it in, and you can see what I've chosen for that. But I picked some nice short options, and some of them are on Audible Plus, which is exciting. All right, so that was Stacy's TBR and our recommendations for Battle of the Bands 4 movie soundtracks. Deadline to sign up is June 30th, so make sure to uh, sign up with the link below. Join the Bookish Term of Discord and have a lot of fun with the readathon. Yeah, hope to see you there in July. We're going to have a blast. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. And uh, if you're not subscribed, do that. Join the Bookish Term of Discord, like I said. I have my Patreon if you want to support me there. And my Amazon wish list if you'd like to buy me a book. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. See you later.